and away they go from the 1400 meter marker. Maru was slow to go and so was Fort Bay. First to go is Texas Cowboy, Moy Powers right there, Jadax in the blue, ready for takeoff is only two lengths off and then comes Go Richie. Now followed by Royce Flyer, who races about five lengths off the leader. It's the answers near the rail. That's with the red sleeves and red cap. Posterity's on the outside of runners. Then we drop back to Maru, behind that Musicello La Mesa's, and one of the back markers is Fort Bay, about eight or nine lengths off the leader. Moy Power leading it by one length, Jeddak is second. Texas Cowboy Yellow Cap at the rail third, on the outside Posterity. Ready for takeoff between the two of them. It's the answer. Red sleeves and red cap got about five lengths to make up. Roy's flyers on the outside. They're followed by Mahoub and then comes Fort Bay. Top of the lane and Moy Power the leader. Jeddak's the first one to challenge. Then ready for takeoff down the inside. Texas Cowboy. Posterity's on the outside. Then it's the answer. Jeddax the leader, ready for takeoff, starting to run at the leader now. Down the inside, go Richie, and running on from behind is Mahoub. Mahoub's coming home powerfully with the red cap though. Ready for takeoff, takes over. Ready for takeoff, Mahoub on the inside. Ready for takeoff for winner. Mahoub will be second, maybe Jeddak third, then Roy's flyer. So the victory is for number four. And number four is victorious. That is the ready for takeoff. You heard Dees and Sheldon. They both fancied this one a little bit. Jetmaster, Allison Wright, and Mahudla. Number eight runs into second. Marubu was slow into stride and really kicks on in the latter stages. The going by fast net rock. Jeddak will just run third in the blue silks. We'll have to wait for the judges, though. It gets mighty close. Then number 11, Roy's Flyer. Further back is Musha Chalala Mesas. Further back, Posterity. Moy Power, no extra. And then came Go Richie. And they were followed then by Fort Bay. And further back in the run, it's the answer. Now, as we take a look at the head on. And Jeddak comes into the lead. Moy Power comes under pressure, ready for takeoff. Takes off the yellow with the black cap. And just look at the run of Mahub with the uh, red cap. Comes on really powerfully in the latter stages. But victory is for ready for takeoff number four. That ends up winning by about a long head to a half length. Until the running of race six, back to the studio. Well, the first leg of the jackpot will go to trainer Alison Wright teaming up with Atandiwe Imgutla here on number four, ready for takeoff. Uh, the son of Jetmaster, paired by Patricia Divine Investments, and uh, well done to the, all the owners here. And let's have a chat with Alison Wright. And uh, Alison, yeah, the source is having his fourth run, and last time out, maybe a bit too keen with the blinkers. Adiz, I can't tell you how disappointed uh, we've been with this horse at home. He shows us really nice work. And in fact, um, Anton Marcus, this is the only horse's stable number that he knows. So um, he rode him once just before he was ready to run and, and really thought a lot of him. So, yeah, he's been disappointing. His first run, Brandon dropped the whip just at the 400-meter mark when he would have needed it. And then, yeah, the last run was, um, I think, just went too quickly. And I think he's looking for this further distance. So... Very, very nice to be standing here. Well done to the Mauritian owners, um, Francois, who's been an um, owner since we opened, and uh, Gavin Glover. And a uh, nice ride from the Atandi way. He gave the horse a peach of a ride. We were watching the race together, and uh, you could see a long way out that this, this horse comes and gets a run on the outside, he was going to win. Yeah, Dees, uh, well done to Ant. He, he's working really hard, and it's paying off. He's, he's doing fantastically well. He, um, he, he rides to instructions, which is always a help because when the horse doesn't run well, then it's uh, not his fault, you know. So, great ride and uh, well done to the whole team at home. Later on? Uh, we got King's Jet, uh, hasn't got the best draw, so over 1,000 meters we'll see. First time on this track, um, which we've been waiting for, but uh, yeah, just the draw is a concern. Well, all the best with the source moving forward and the compliments to the yard. Thanks, Steve. Lovely. Alison Wright. Now, let's get Atandi Wem Gudla in. And I, I didn't get to chat with Atandiwe when he had all those winners. I think he had five winners in the space of two meetings. And I never interviewed you once that day, Atandiwe. So 
things are looking bright and things looking good. Yes, 100%. These are, you know, I've um, been working hard in the mornings and uh, I'm getting some nice opportunities from different trainers, which helps a lot, you know. And uh, yeah, you know, it's going well. Now that you at uh, Summerfeld, you, you get to visit a few more rings because Clearwood, uh, you know, there's, uh, there were only a few trainers there. Yes, at Clearwood there were a few trainers, but, uh, you know, I still did well. I mean, I was given my fair enough, uh, fair enough of chances and uh, now at Summerfeld I can get around a lot. Everyone is there and uh, it makes the job a little bit more easy. So, yeah, you know, it's just great when things work out like this. Talk us through this race. Um, everything just worked out for me today at Deza. You know, the last time he had the blinkers on and he travelled a bit too hard, so... Today, uh, it was a matter of trying to settle him a little bit, but you now he pinged the gates and uh, I was there for nothing. I think um, I had the right horses in front of me and uh, he quickened up at the right time and he's won a good race, you know. Just a big well done to Mrs. Uh, to Mr. and Mrs. Wright, you know, for giving me the opportunity. I really do appreciate it. Later on, you got some nice rides? Yes, these are um, quite competitive, you know. I think King's Jet, um, you know, if he... It, it, um, I think with King's Jet, uh, Depends how things work out for him, but uh, you know his form is not too bad, and I think he might just enjoy the poly track. And uh, of course, the one I'm riding for, Mr. Wright, in the la uh, for Mr. Terry in the last race as well, she should have a chance. And then you got a nice ride, I think. Uh, I'm not mistaken for Mr. Naidu. Yes, I've got one for Mr. Naidu as well in the next race. Um, um, he, he's just coming out of his maiden, so he's got the draw. So I'm hoping he runs well. Well, keep up the good work, and uh, it seems to be paying off handsomely for you, Atandiwe, and uh, wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Once again, a big thank you to, the, to Mr. and Mrs. Wright and uh, to the winning owners as well. Thank you. Lovely. Atandiwe Mgudla, Alison Wright, and of course, the horse is called Ready for Takeoff. 4, 8, 2, and 11. Just confirming that. 4, 8, 2, and 11. That's the way the judges posted them up. Race number five.